Um, let me show the wind turbine. So it's here on next to me. Hopefully it does fit on the screen. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a, a larger object. So the idea here for this object is definitely to, to have it um, producing electricity, doing something useful. And for, I have done a wind turbine or a windmill a while ago, which is just rotating in the wind. So the aerodynamics is basically, I had resolved it. But the thing which is not possible with my old windmill is it's too small to fit in a generator of this size here, that, uh, which has the size of, the, of this uh, 3D printed motor or generator. So I needed to increase the, the, the housing, make it bigger, also increase, yeah, just make sure I have enough space to build in some useful electrical components. So the 3D printed components that you can see are, def are the, the, the visible components outside. Uh, the blades are 3D printed, the hub is 3D printed, the house is 3D printed, the fins are 3D printed. Um, but there are electrical components, um, so there is electrical com electrical conducting uh, material, 3D printable, but I've done some measurements there and they can't transport enough current, so there is a problem with this material. It's, it's not conductive material, it's more a resistive material, so it, <laughs> it is not, not a pure isolator, it can conduct some electricity, but it's not good enough to really build electrical stuff here. But never, anyway, doesn't matter. The, the, the components built in here are also very basic, simple. It's not really advanced, so it's good if you want to rebuild such a turbine and understand how it works, to understand the technology. It's simple to have an overview here. So I'm removing the nose here. Um, so I mean, just just as I introduced, there is a small gap here visible, um, which is not uh, like the final version. I, it's just for this demo here. I didn't screw all very tight together because at the end it should be sort of waterproof, so it doesn't have many gaps where water can go inside. But for on my disassembling, it's easier if I do not screw everything very tight together, so I can easily show it to you. So this is the the nose, it's one part. Here also a temporary thing, the cable, which is um, for a, a little mic microcontroller which is inside this hub. So actually there's a computer inside the hub here. Um, the cable here is needed as for development, so if I'm changing the software I'll need to be able to connect my computer. So that's why the cable is here. For the final version, uh, if it's running outside, there wouldn't be holes here for the cable because of the water that could uh, destroy the electronics. Yeah, I'll unscrew, uh, remove the three screws later. I would like to show you other thing first. I've uh, here on the... It's getting heavier. <laughs> I have here on, on, the, on the end the house for the fins, which make sure that the wind turbine is pointed towards the wind direction. So it's a um, 3, 3D printed object. But there is a little rail that, that uh, makes sure the blade is not twisting. Yeah, it would be possible to use uh, snap fits to eliminate these screws, so it could easily snapped on, be snapped on the component uh, together. We have snap, see, snap uh, fits components in the Macy library. It, 3D printing is some, sometimes challenging to have it properly working because there is one dimension which is not as robust than the other two dimensions. So the C direction, in this direction it can easily break much easier than uh, into the other directions. And there it is important to be careful when you are designing snap fits to objects. So it's, it's, it's a really, it's, it's a combination of 
knowing the technology, how it is printed or um, fabricated and then snapping it to... There is a lot of op uh, possibilities with 3D printing to optimize the, the, the components. I can continue with the wind turbine here. I think what you can see now is um, I have I've showed the, the motor version. Um, here it is now the generator version visible. So it's the, the gray part here that is um, if I'm turning on the, on the blades, which is also rotating. And, and this uh, creates a current. I will disassemble it later. So here in this dark area, you should see if I'm rotating, there is a LED lighting up. 